there's a sister who wants to take shahada mashallah uh, and she only speaks urdu okay uh can she repeat after me, inshallah, the, the, the words of Shahada? I may not be able to repeat the words in the Urdu language. Uh, perhaps I will, I will be saying it in the English language thereafter, or you can help her to say the words, inshallah. Sheikh, you want to take the Shahada? Is she ready to repeat after me? Yes. Yes. Ashhadu? Yes. Asadu Allah Allah Ilaha Ilaha Illa Illa Allah Allah Wa Ashadu Wa Asadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Rasulullah Rasulullah Can someone repeat in Urdu for her inshallah? May Gawahi Detihu May Gawahi Detihu Ki Allah Ake Allah Ake or Ab Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Aap Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam Allah ke rasool hai Allah ke rasool hai MashaAllah, barakallah feek, takbir, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you my sister and at the same time we repeat whatever we've said to the previous sister to you inshallah the sisters will guide you and I'd like to spend a moment here to say something very very important uh, for a global audience and that is, my brothers and sisters, when people have reverted to Islam, it's our duty to embrace them. It's our duty to ensure that they, they are comfortable. It's our duty to ensure that when we, we are considering marriage or someone would like to get married, don't just block them to say this person is a revert and this person. No, no, no. They are our brothers and sisters in Islam. A lot of them are struggling to get married because they are the only reverts. And then here come some people and some parents who might say, no ways, I'm not keen and I'm not interested because they don't have a family background, they don't have this and that. Na'udhu Billah. It's a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A lot of the reverts that I know are more powerful in, in Islam uh, than those who were born Muslim. So remember this. And remember we have duties and obligations unto them in order to help them and guide them and make them feel comfortable. We have a bad habit sometimes. We attend even a function of this nature. And we don't greet each other. We are rude to each other. We, we really have no manners sometimes. We forget. And therefore, I'd like you to, to spend a moment, inshallah, to greet one another, to try and at least ask one another, you know, how are you and do you, where do you come from and so on. No need to ask questions that are embarrassing or questions that would put people in a corner. Like, you know, once there was an imam in a masjid, and I've done it several times, but there was once an imam in a masjid who made an announcement to say, each one should uh, greet the brother next to him and each one should ask them one or two questions. And uh, people came complaining to say, people are asking me, what's your business and how can I benefit from you? Allahu Akbar. You know, brother, what do you do? Hey, I need a discount, man. You know, that's not what it's all about. In fact, if we enter a shop where we don't know the owners, we will purchase it even if it's expensive. Why is it that when you know someone, you want a big discount? Give them money. Give them your halal sustenance, inshallah. You know, I've always told people back at home when we're living in non-Muslim countries, you enter a shop of a non-Muslim or a business, and mashallah, you pay the price and you walk out. But enter the shop of a Muslim, salamu alaikum. And the brother just says, oh no, another one asking for a discount. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us, really. That's not what we should be doing. So we should greet one another, inshallah, even this evening. Let's feel the love and the brotherhood, the sisterhood, inshallah, and talk to each other, perhaps get to know someone. You might be able to assist someone and don't abuse that. Abuse that meaning, say, did you hear? He said, help me. I need so many dirhams, mashallah. Uh, that's not what's supposed to be the case. So my sister, inshallah, these are just words of encouragement for us and our relationship with those who reverted to Islam. It's important for us to say this. Uh, may Allah bless us all. Shukran.